Jersey Justin and his crew came down, went fishing with us for two days, and we're gonna talk about what happened on those two days of fishing. Our first day, our opportunities were gonna lead us to the Gulf uh, to go out in the open water rather than fishing in the backcountry. It was uh, glass calm conditions, just like you're looking at right here. Even It was even calmer than that. It was gorgeous, just gorgeous. You know, We could run fast, we could spend time, and we didn't have to worry about chop and everything. So our obvious, the first day we're going to go after the big fish that are in the Gulf, and that's what led us to where we're going. Uh, our first uh, stop out there wasn't quite as successful as the next stop, because that's where our action really started on our second stop, and that's when we let it go. On the second stop, we uh, put our chum bags out, we put a few rods out. It was a little bit slow for start, and then Justin caught a mackerel, then Joe caught a snapper, then Joe caught another fish, and I was thinking to myself, well, you know, the small fish are biting here, we're not really doing it. And all of a sudden, one of the bottom rods went off and we caught a black tip, 40 pounder maybe, 30 pounders. Great fight, excellent little fish, got some good footage of that, I'm sure. A little bit more time, a couple more mackerel, a couple more jacks, lots of jacks, lots and lots of jack carvels. What a great fish. Um, then we got a, a, a Goliath grouper and uh, did battle with him and his, the hooking of that fish was shallow in his tongue. It was in the skin of his tongue rather than his mouth, which is very unusual because we we're using circle hooks and usually the circle hook is in the outer part of the mouth. But anyway, um, we got him, I got a hold of the leader, we all got an eyeball on him, a little bit of footage, he made an extra lunge, hook pulled out on its own, that fish is perfectly fine and safe. We caught a sandbar shark, and that was almost identical in size to the black tip. It was just the prettiest little shark, great footage of him, eyeball, I, uh, cameras on, eyeballs on, hands on, just excellent. Then we caught the second Goliath, and we actually got some better footage of him because we got to put hands on. Nice job on that dude, that was awesome. Justin caught that fish, it was so great because he caught it on that lighter tackle, and it was just, you can do the food, he was just going nuts on him like that, and he was grunting and groaning, and everybody's making fun of him, but it was great. I mean, we made for such awesome footage. I can't wait to see it if I get an opportunity because it was really good stuff, and we got him up got the footage, and that really topped off that second spot. After we caught the last fish on the second spot, which we didn't know was going to be the last fish, but we sat there for quite a while with, uh, it was just slow. Uh, it had slowed down, the current had changed, weeds started moving in, and we were at the point in a day where we had to make a decision whether we were going to stay at the second spot or move on another 20, 25 minutes further away from home to get in our last half hour, 45 minutes of fishing on a different spot with a, maybe a group of fish that hadn't been disturbed. So we moved, we decided to move, we all went together, we ran out uh, to a spot that's long, long, long way away from home. And, uh, but we were really glad we did. We anchored up on the, in the last spot. We got the chum bag in the water. We got the lines in the water. The guys started fishing, and we weren't catching nothing. And we weren't catching nothing. We were, I was just on the cusp of just saying, you know, guys, I just don't think this is going to happen. It's not going to work out here. You know, the fish have shut off for whatever reason. And the rod goes off. The 65-pound braid is tingling off of the spool. Just just ripping off, man. Joe picks the rod up. He's fighting this, what we didn't know was going to be an epic battle. <laughs> it was so much fun. I keep reflecting on it since then. But anyway, 
he gets into this tussle with this fish and we're going back and forth. We don't know what it is. We're figuring it's a shark. We don't know what we got to. Round and round for the first 15 minutes and oh man, we see why we're gonna end, what we're in for. This 400 plus pound tiger shark comes to the surface and we're all, we're doing a, Oh my God, look at that size of this fish. So we start this giant battle and around and around and around and back and forth and up and down and we're just fighting this thing and Joe's, Joe's up there like a trooper fighting this thing and he goes, it's not going to beat me, it's not, ah, this fish is in trouble, this fish is in trouble and I'm like, Joe, you are going to have to fight your life, yeah, you're going to battle this fish until you're weak in the knees and your back is in pain. He goes, I'm already in pain, man, but I'm not giving up. You want it, put it, you got put <laughs> so it. he fights it and fights it and fights it and we finally get it up to the boat. And we get a hold of its tail the first time, and I think maybe we got out of my hands. Wouldn't have no part of that. Surges back down to the bottom, takes us off again. Get it back up again. Get a hold of the tail a second time. Now it's going to turn, boom, out of our hands again. Oh my God, what? This is really starting to drag out. This guy is totally, totally pulling us around into the current and the off. Four people on a 22-foot boat, and this fish is pulling us into the current. It was so awesome. Third time, we get a hold of fish. This time, I think we're going to get a little help. We got him a little bit longer this time. This beast's head comes around like this and just goes, snaps around, comes back, bites the boat, whammo back like this, back down again, jerks out of my hands a third time. I'm like, oh my god, I can't hang on to this giant fish. Off we go again, fighting and fighting and fighting and fighting, fighting and man, Joe's just hanging tough on this big old fish that he is working overtime on, you know? And everybody keeps telling, you know, keep fighting, Joe, don't give up, don't fight. You know, because he's stalling now, because I know the pain level in his back had to be just excruciating. So he fights it up and this time I finally, I get a hold of the tail and then Paul jumps in there and he grabs a hold of the tail and now I think we've got this giant beast and it's thrashing and thrashing and thrashing and thrashing and then Justin comes in there with the rope and he's trying to figure out how to, and we don't know how to let go and still hang on to it while Justin's trying to get the rope over his tail and we finally get the rope around all of our hands and all of this and the shark's tail and the shark's teeth and the boat rocking and the cameras and the this get him tied off on the side of the boat, get some awesome, awesome beast tied off alongside the boat, and it's still, you know, it's just whoosh, wham, whoosh, wham, whoosh, wham, like this with the huge jaws 15, 16 inches across and those big old serrated teeth just snapping at us, pissed off tiger shark. We get it up, we get a second around around the head where we can lift it up and actually tell how long this fish is and we're looking at a 10 plus foot 400 pound tiger shark alongside the boat and everybody's just like yeah baby we got it this is unbelievable holy crap what a great fish and i assure you with 100 percent confidence that this is going to be the biggest fish i've caught this year probably all year long Joe, you're not going to give up on this fish here. You can't give up. This is your fish of a lifetime. And I think, I think little tiny tears are pouring in the corner of his eyes. His back had to be screaming. Everybody's like, come on, Joe. He's just, ah, Joe, don't be a girl. Fight it like a man. 